Hey everyone, welcome to my video, how to make nickel plating solution. Uh, if you want to like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, share, anything you do does help the channel. And if you want to sign up for my Patreon, here's the link, you can go there. And let's get on with the video. Alright everybody, how you doing? Uh, this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own nickel plating solution. And uh, it's it's pretty simple, there's not a lot of things that go into it. Uh, and as far as materials, you're going to need some pure nickel. I ordered that on Amazon. It was a 1 by 6 inch piece. It was $8. Came to my house in a few days. Uh, and what I did was I just cut an inch and a half off, almost 2 inches. Because you got to have an anode, which is your positive, and a cathode, which is your negative. And then you're going to need your vinegar. This is just plain white vinegar. So I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the cathode out for a sec. It doesn't matter if the anode's in there. And I'm going to fill it to the line I want it to be at. Which I use as a, I use a line on the jar that's already made into the jar. And then just regular table salt. And you probably only need a bit, a spoon. That was good enough. I'm just going to give her a stir with this. Mix her all up. Now you want to have a solution over. You want to have a solution over just putting it in and trying to nickel plate because it's going to go faster for you if you do it like that. So let me just plug in the old power supply. So like I told you before, black, negative, negative, it's marked on here, on your cathode. And then you're going to do your positive on the anode. And uh, the higher voltage you crank this to, the faster it's going to work. That's why I recommend getting the, the power supply over using batteries. You see a lot of people online use batteries. I don't know, it, you're not getting the same. The batteries can only put out so much voltage. Uh, you crank this up, you could save yourself hours of time. Uh, you can, because with the batteries, it might take you a bunch of batteries in two hours to get the nice teal color you're looking for for this solution. But if you use a power supply, you can do that in 20 minutes, half hour. You can cook it for longer, go an hour and get a ton done because the better your solution is, the better it's going to turn out. So first we'll turn this up. Let's see what we got here. And look, so I'm going to crank it up to max. That's 15 volts. Uh, you can already see it working. It's already happening. The cathode, let me bring you in for a closer look now. See the cathode bubbling? The negative's going to bubble like that, and your solution is now creating. Uh, everything's working. And see, it's, it's moving over to the anode, the positive side. And uh, this is going to go on for a while, and you can see it's already kind of changing color a bit. Uh, so this, oh, that might just be from the green light. Never mind, sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're just going to leave this going for a bit, and I'm going to wait for it to change color. And I'm going to come back to you guys, and I'm going to talk to you about things you're going to need to know, and uh, some basics and things like that. All right, see you in a sec. All right, everybody, how you doing? Uh, like I said, I'll be back in a second. It has been exactly 15 minutes uh, since I ended that last segment of the video. And this is how much uh, solution we got going already. It's already changing colors. Very nice. Uh, so while it's doing this, I just wanted to go over some things with uh, you guys that you might need to know. Uh, do not have a flame or sparks near this because... Uh, the bubbles you're seeing produced in there that are coming off the cathode, uh, that's hydrogen, right? Uh, now, it's not going to explode or burn down your house or anything, but it, it, there is potential it could light up. It is hydrogen, guys, but if you stay in a well-ventilated uh, area, you could easily be safe. And like I said, don't have any sparks or flames near it. And you don't need to anyway, so why would you even have it there? I'm just trying to put some knowledge out there for you guys. And also, uh, 
The one I'm using, the power supply, the DC power supply I'm using is only a one amp, 15 volt. Uh, that's all you really need for plating and things like that. You don't need to go much higher. Uh, you can, but the thing was to get the five amp, 30 volt or whatever it is, the next step up above this was like a hundred dollars. I got this for $30. Like it's all I'll ever need. Uh, I have a welding machine and everything like that. So, uh, this was just a good, cheap, fun buy, easy startup. I highly recommend just getting that guys. It's all you'll really need. $30. You can't beat it. Uh, and that's Canadian, right? So American, it would have been $22 or something like that. So just go with the cheap one, one amp, 15 volts. It's all you need. It does take a little longer to make the solution. If you have the 30 volt one, obviously it goes double as fast when making the solution, but uh, 15 minutes, look at the rich color I already have. So in an hour, this should be done hour and a half. I'm probably going to let it go. And, uh, another reason why you want to make the solution is because if you, if you don't make the solution good, that's how you get the bad lines on your, on the things you're plating. Uh, You've probably seen some uh, videos out there. A buddy of mine had made one and I had seen, and he's just trying it out and he didn't make a solution and he just dunked it. And it, it turned out the nickel plated, but it didn't turn out great. He had uh, these lines all over his. So you want to make the solution for a nice, deep, concentrated nickel solution. It, it takes a lot of time off your, off your plating when you go to do a piece and it makes the plating that much better. And uh, something else that's going to be happening in this, uh, you're not going to be able to see it right now, but when I'm done and I pull the anode and the cathode out, you're going to see that uh, there's some black specks in there. And that's just pieces transferring from plate to plate. And uh, you're going to clean that off. And then we're going to actually filter this uh, solution too, because there's going to be chunks in there that you're going to want to get out because you want to have a really nice uh, clean solution. Uh, so guys, we're going to come back in a bit when it's more ready and we'll talk a little bit more. Uh, stay tuned. All right, everybody. I wanted to mention this while it was happening in the video. Uh, it's about 25 minutes now. Uh, we're getting even darker teal color here and, uh, you can probably see some steam rising off of the nickel solution. Uh, don't be worried about this while you're doing it at home. All this is, is the liquid is actually heating up in here. Uh, when you pump electricity through, through liquid for periods of time, that's what happens to it. So it's nothing to be alarmed about. And like I said, just make sure you're in a well ventilated area and to keep away any open flame or sparks from the solution while you're doing this. And, uh, we'll get back to you here shortly. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that uh, earlier I said that my power supply was a one amp power supply. While I was waiting, I was reading over the schematics that came with this the little manual. It's two amp power supply, two amp, 15 volt. Uh, I was wrong, so I just also wanted to make that correction too. All right, everybody, we are a nice, dark, rich green color there. Uh, you can see how much my nickel anode has worn down. Uh, it's thinned out very much. Uh, the sides have all been eaten off. Uh, what's happening is it's transferring over from this anode to here. And as we go down here, you can see all the black specks I was talking about. That's going to be on your cathode. Uh, but those come right off and some will fall to the bottom of the solution. That's why you got to filter it. And uh, we'll stop back here pretty shortly. I just wanted to show this part of the video. All right, everybody. So our nickel plating solution is finished. Uh, all you got to do now is detach everything. Uh, I let this cook for two hours. Uh, that's how I got that really nice color. Oh, this is turning on me here. There we go. Uh, that's how I got that really nice rich color. That's a good uh, nickel plating solution now. Uh, All I have to do is take out my nodes and I'm going to clean them off here. As and uh, that's what they look like after. And that's just all pieces of nickel that's stuck to it. I'm going to clean this all off and get her back ready. Because uh, when you're plating, when you go to plate, you still want to use the, the cathodes and the anodes you were using. And now let's take a look at the nickel. Uh, look how this turned out, guys. Look at, that was one full strip before. Look how much it's eaten off to put into that solution. Uh, and then the scrap is what you see that sticks to the cathode. Uh, so everyone, that's how you make your nickel plating solution. Uh, I'm going to have some nickel plating videos ready for you next. Uh, this is just one step in the process. 
and for anyone who just wanted to make their own nickel plating solution and what you're going to need and what to find and everyone take care hope you enjoyed leave a comment down on the bottom let me know what you thought let me know what you want to see and uh we'll see you next time